don't buy a used car until you know this about Carfax. This is really cool. So right now we're not at Carfax, we're on vincheck.info. Some of you may have seen this uh, website. It's one of these numerous free websites where you can get pretty much any info about a vehicle. So did you know though that you can pull up a vehicle tag and get the VIN number as well? Now Facebook is really the most popular place right now to buy and sell used cars. So a lot of times if you'll see a vehicle on there, sometimes they list the VIN number for you, sometimes they don't. So here's a quick and easy way to get more info. Now I went on Facebook and I just saw a, a generic ad for a, a Dodge Dakota. So I got the tag number off of it. In the pictures they didn't cover up the tag, so here's the tag number and you go to vincheck.info slash free license plate lookup, search the license plate, and the really cool thing is, and of course, I'm gonna pick Georgia, this will pull up the VIN number. So then you have a lot more information. Of course, if they don't have the tag number in the picture, you're out of luck, but you can always message them and find out what the VIN number is. So here you go. It is a Dodge Dakota. There's the VIN. Now the really cool thing about Carfax is they have service histories. So you can track the service history of your vehicle over time. And obviously you keep the paper receipts and everything, but this is just one, a one-stop shop for having all that information. So my vehicle's already in here, but what you can do is add a car. Doesn't have to be your car. Put that VIN number in that I just looked up. It should be a Dodge Dakota. There it is. No, it's not really my car, but hey, who cares? And the really neat thing about this is that once you get it added, you go back to the garage, and there's the vehicle. So now you can click on it and find the service history for that vehicle. Going all the way back to, in this case, February 2001 and it only had 11,265 miles on it. You can go through all of this stuff right here and find out the previous service history of all of this stuff. Now, how cool is that? You may already have known this, but if you didn't, this can really be helpful to know the previous history of a vehicle that you're looking at purchasing, but also if you just bought an, a used car and you wanna go back and check and see what was really done as far as the service. I know, you know, you buy a car from somebody like, oh yeah, I changed the, changed the oil every 3,000 miles, rotated the tires every six months, did this and that, you know, kept it in the garage. Well, here's where you can go back and look at the service history. So that's a really, really good way to look at that and know instantly the information on the vehicle that you might be looking at purchasing or to get more info on one that you already have and you just want to know the previous service history before you got it. So there you go. That's really an easy way to, to, to pull that up without um, doing a full Carfax. You know, obviously I would recommend before you actually purchase a vehicle to get the full Carfax even though it's like 40 bucks, um, it, may, it may save you thousands of dollars in headaches. So I still think Carfax, although there's a few other companies out there, that Carfax is, is pretty much the gold standard and it's the one I use if I'm going to purchase a vehicle. So just a quick tip to, to give you some info on, on Carfax and what you can do with the service histories to find out a little bit a little bit more info about a car you might be looking at. Hope this saves you some time. Click down below, subscribe to the channel.
And uh, I'll be back later with more tips and tricks. Have a great day.